Well, Kwazulu Natal education officials say that educators from over 60 schools that uh, pre uh, performed poorly in uh, the 2021 metric results could uh, get the boot if they don't improve their school's uh, performance. And that's the warning from the MEC of uh, Education, Kwazim Shengu. The department has started uh, accountability sessions for schools uh, where less than 40% of metrics passed last year. Indeed, thank you very much. The education department in KwaZulu Natal is on um, a drive to ensure that uh, there is accountability in schools that performed poorly in the past metric results. And to talk to us more about the plans uh, that are going to be effected in those schools, I'm joined by the education MEC in KwaZulu Natal. That's Mr. Kwazulu Natal. Thank you very much for your time, MEC. Perhaps first and foremost, when one looks at this school, you would say that the issue of resources is not really an issue. What what is the problem? Well, the issue of resources have, has uh, really been an issue for, for quite some time. The school has been run down um, in all respects, even by committee members, uh, vandalized, everything stolen. I always say that the only thing that has not been stolen here is a, is a teacher. But literally everything has been stolen. The school was once spent. So the buildings that you can see are the new, are the building that are being re buildings that are being renovated. And we are trying to put it to a standard where it really becomes one of the best schools uh, that we have uh, in the province. As you can see, it's right in the middle of the township, uh, really the only school, high school in this township. And uh, the manner in which it has been run down over years is that um, it has led to many parents also taking out learners to different schools which uh, involve transport costs, transport costs and all those things. That is why we said let's start by rehabilitating the infrastructure of the school. But secondly, the performance is too bad. Uh, the school has been declining over years again. Last year they got 23%. And it is one of the schools in the province which we said uh, they need our um, focused um, attention uh, so that we help these learners, um, the metric class uh, of 2022, but also those grades that are below metric to improve the learning attainment and, 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 and performance. And that is why we are here, because last week in our accountability sessions, we met with the principal um, and the, the, the circuit managers to try and understand what went wrong in the school. Um, I could tell from the principal that uh, there is no clarity as to how to turn around things in the school. That is why we are here, myself, the HOD, and the entire team, so that we can try really to help, because ultimately, this school must produce learners who will be able to help their families and the area of Moy River to develop. Mm. Besides this school, MEC, obviously there are 6,000 schools in the province. What are some of the gaps that you've been able to identify in those that have not been performing well? Well, there's been a combination of factors, and um, ranging from the school level right up to head office. Uh, that is why in these accountability sessions that we hold, everyone is accountable, uh, from the principal right up to the HOT and myself, about things that uh, could, should have been done but were not done, leading into the poor performance of, 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 of certain schools. Some schools will say we got teachers very late. Uh, there are subjects that were not taught for the better part of the year. There were instabilities in schools, some were disrupted by the communities. But there are schools where you can tell that uh, probably the culture of teaching and learning is really at, at its lowest just exactly like this school. I mean, when we met with the principal, um, there was nothing that he was pointing to us as a department to say, I submitted this at that head office or district office, it was not approved and all of those things. They, they, everything they had, uh, the educators, uh, they had all the time really to improve uh, the results, but um, they got 23%. And we think there's a problem at a staffing level, um, and as well as the SMT. There's a problem of learners, uh, discipline of learners i'm sure you could you should have seen the contingents of, of learners who arrived late and uh, the school as i said is right in the middle of the township there's just no way you can arrive late there's no learner who is tra who's being transported from an area that is far uh, to the school they all of them are walking uh, into into the school but the majority of them will will, will, will come late the parents uh, lack of involvement um is also an issue um uh, which we are going to take up there's a counselor here from from meeting the, the management I'm going to, to have an engagement with him as to how do we mobilize the community so that they can protect the school and also take active interest in the in the in, in the education of their kids by accountability MEC what exactly do you mean are heads going to roll definitely uh, definitely at, at all levels uh, including at head office level you know uh, during our accountability sessions last week, we were told that uh, there was a submission that uh, had been stuck at a district or head office level for four months. 
Now we can't, we can't run, we can't run a system with, with that. So there's someone who must be held accountable for the failure to make sure that that transmit, I mean that submission is is transmitted until approval. So it's 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 it's, it's accountability sessions aimed one at helping. Uh, where there are challenges, uh, plugging in where there are gaps, but where there is clear dereliction of duty, health will, will roll. We, ca we can't afford to have a system that will collapse on the basis of people who are not professional in doing their work, who don't care. I mean, there are, there are instances where in this department there are teachers, substitute teachers in particular, not, who will be appointed but not paid until they, ex they exit the system, simply because there are people who will sit and not capture their information. And those are the things that we deal with. Everyone must be accountable because what I do as an MEC, what the HOT does, ultimately must be felt at a classroom level. Thank you very much for your time. See you That's the MEC for Education in Guazulu Natal, MEC Guazulu in Kosim Shengu, saying that indeed heads will roll in those schools that are not performing adequately. Zimpira Makanya in conversation there with the MEC of Education in uh, KZN.